Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to video three of the gas control series. Today we talk about the thermistor, and what we use that for in the heating trade. In order to better understand this device, I need to go back to the basics. If I have a copper wire, and I increase the temperature of that wire, its resistance will go up. But if I take the same wire and decrease the temperature, its resistance will go down, meaning electricity will be able to flow through it easier. Now the thermistor is a device that we use in the heating trade that does just that except for opposite. It's a temperature measuring device that when it gets warmer, its resistance goes down. And when it gets cooler, its resistance goes up, just flipped right on its head from a copper wire. Now the thermistor all by itself is not very helpful. You need to wire that thermistor to a special control that can interpret that resistance range and say, hey, the boiler system, or whatever system this is, is at this temperature here. So I either need to heat up or stop heating or do something else. Thermistors are a solid state device that look like this that measure temperature. Now what they do though is they change their resistance when they are heated or cooled and then you connect that up to a device that reads that resistance and tells you how warm it is. So right now I've got a cup of snow because we're in Canada. So I've got this sitting down in there. Let's pack the snow around it. And I've got this connected up to my multimeter here. Now that's measuring 32,000 ohms of resistance, not just 32. Let's see what we are at here. We're at 32.6 degrees Fahrenheit or just above freezing. Now I've got a cup of warm water over here, which is at 82.4 degrees. Let's see what happens, oh, 82.6, if you can see that. Let's see what happens when we take our thermistor and put it into the hot water. Our resistance starts going down. So we're at 14,000. Almost at 10,000. And we'll probably level out very close to 10,000 ohms of resistance. Just a little bit less. So once again, these wires on the other side of this unit connect up to a sensor which goes and says, hey, I'm at this temperature, so now I need to do something. This is generally used in conjunction with boiler systems. And it looks like we're leveling out at actually 9,000 ohms of resistance. Let's look at this chart to see what this says for temperature. Now here is the official chart for Tecmar sensors, that is the thermistor that I've been showing you in this video. So our first measurement was 32,000 ohms of resistance, and if we come down right here, that actually lies in between 30 and 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And we were at 32.6, so that works out pretty much perfectly. My secondary reading was 9,000 ohms of resistance, and that puts us between 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and we were at 82 and a bit. So once again, that's more or less perfect. So that's how this works. Now there is a close relative to the thermistor called the RTD, or the Resistance Temperature Detector. This works very similar to the thermistor, except for when the temperature of the RTD increases, the resistance increases, and as the temperature decreases, the resistance decreases, so it's reversed. And once again, it needs a special controller to interpret those signals to output a temperature. Now these are generally used in industrial applications and not in general heating applications that we deal with. And that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned for the next one where we talk about the combination fan limit for forced air furnaces. And until that time, you have a wonderful day.